Hi guys, Jason121 here. Um, I'm going to clarify on a mistake that I made. A couple people tried telling me this. I didn't believe it. I was fully wrong, so I'm owning up to my mistake. The argument that I had with people is they were saying that you get a 10% boost by maxing out a card's level and then evolving it. And I was kind of arguing with them that using a max a card level when you evolve it is treated as a level 1 instead of that level 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever. I was wrong. When you evolve a card, normally it's just that 5% carried over stats. But when you max it out, it's 10% of the stats. I don't know if it's the base stats or this 10% of its max stats. Either way, um, really what we're taking a look at is four cards level one smashed together versus eight cards each maxed out on its level and then its stats difference. And from what I've seen for a card like Valkyrie, which is an SS rare, meaning that it maxes out at level 70, there is about a 4,000 point difference between using the 4 cards at level 1 and using the 8 cards at the max level from the very beginning of the Hild to the S Hild and so on and so forth. Okay? Um, that being said, the, the main question is, is it worth the extra time, the extra cards, the extra rubies? If you've gotten to the point as a player where you can afford to get the resources, so the extra four Valkyries, the extra God knows how many rubies, the extra probably a couple hundred to a thousand cards that it's going to take to do that, is it worth it? Unfortunately, I have to say yes. Um, looking at that five times at 4,000 point different, that's 20,000 extra attack points. And then dealing with like a Valkyrie's effect, which is a big boost to gods. So you can just imagine that extra 20,000 plus that boost, which is 15%. Um, is it worth it? It will definitely give you the edge. Well, am I going to do it? No. I don't have the patience or the resources to do that. Um, you may see that with people with multiple accounts. Uh, people that have mining accounts, which is basically an extra account, which all they do is just put everything into stamina and just uh, continually do that one stamina point quest. So every three stamina points, they get a card. And then they'll transfer all that stuff over to their main account. You'll see accounts that do that. And it kind of it cheapens the game, in my opinion. I know I've only been playing this for two weeks, so what the hell do I know? Why should I be able to talk about cheapening the game? Because I've seen it happen in other games. They'll have that secondary account, and they'll mine extra resources and transfer it over to their main account. Um, I don't recommend that you do that because many multi-online player games or many role-playing games such as Rage of the Bahamut and Warcraft and RuneScape and everything else, they have data tracking systems and they have formulas and they have equations and whatever else you want to call it. Or if so much wealth is transferred or if there's a ping in an account, or if an account is new enough, it's kind of in a probation status period, they'll ban the account that transferred, and they'll ban the account that received. So if you value your account, don't do it, okay? I had one guy on here asking another player how you make multi multiple verified accounts. Don't post that crap on my videos, guys. I'll block you, and I'll report it as spam, okay? And I'm sorry if that makes me sound mean or vulgar or whatever. I'm not going to deal with it. I don't want that stuff on here, okay? Rage of Bahamut is supposed to be about fun. When you start kind of when you start doing that kind of stuff, it's no longer about fun, okay? It's about grinding and being tedious and trying to get that unfair advantage. Simply put, it's a form of cheating. Don't do that crap, okay?
But to get back to the main point, I'm owning up to my mistake. I apologize to the people that tried to tell me that. From now on, if somebody posts something like that, I will try to verify it and look further into it. And you guys, my viewers, deserve better than me misinforming you such as I did. So that's why I'm making this video. And, you know, I hope that you continue to watch those videos. I'll continue to give you good factual information. And I hope that didn't mess up anybody's deck. Um, please keep in mind that there's such a huge time difference and such a huge resource difference that unless you're looking at doing this at rare cards or below, anything above that is going to cost you a massive amount of resources. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I apologize for the mistake, and I hope to see you next time. This is Jason121 signing off.